Alright. I'm running whenever you guys are. Just waiting for some response from Yubbo. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna do the, the sneaky eyes. <laughs> yeah, figures. But I think, too, going back to, to, to the fundamental disagreement about surrendering or not, I, I think it's just lull with Nate, because when we played Quake 2, it's kind of cut and dry, come back or not, what, you know, went wrong. There's just too many factors with lull. You know what, that you you know what about Quake 2 also is, um, every, there was no snowballing, there were no items, there was no leveling, it was like raw skill. An execution, right? Um, and so Yabo just disconnected. Um, and so, like, you could literally outplay people at any point in the game. And Q2 CTF, I mean, there was power shield, and there were runes. And well, armor. you know, amp. Right, you amp. Control the quad. Control the quad. Like, oh yeah, the quad was like the big factor actually that allowed teams to come back. So like you. Right. If, if somebody controlled all the all the uh, techs, you could get quad. Even if you didn't have amp and didn't have auto dock, you could get the quad. And with quad, you could kill the guy with auto dock, or you could kill the guy with amp. And then you could control the, those runes. Once you got once you controlled the the runes, then you were on top. And then you could start you know, charging up power shield. I, right, I remember but... like a lot of games where, especially with Gordon. Um, the tactic was okay if we got down, get fucking you, quad. Yeah, get quad. The, the quote was get jacked, right? Remember yep. that? We'd say get, get jacked and then like take the game back over. So there'd be this period where you were not in any, any of the fights, like you were out of the action, you were avoiding the fights, because all you were doing is stacking up on armor, getting power shield, getting as many cells into your power shield as you could. Yep. Get jacked. Once you were jacked, then find the guy with power amp, get quad. Kill the guy with power amp, and then you were like on top. And usually yeah. that that fight was a big fight because you had to outplay the guy, and 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 like you were gonna, even though you were protect totally, the guy who would get amp. Yeah, and even anger. though you were totally jacked, you'd go into that fight and you'd come out of it like barely surviving. But you come out, you've got you've got the techs under your control now. Now you've got quad timer, and now you're on top. And like it didn't matter what the score was. If the score was seven to one, you could t you come back and win eight to seven. And uh, so it really was personal, individual skill, and we were at playing at a level where we had that skill. And so right. at any moment, you could come back. <laughs> yeah, but at the Chuck, but I feel good. like it's... Thanks for joining me this week at Peak well. Special thanks to DJ Yellow for What's that? that? The, I, they I, could, you know, control quad or get a lucky rail, and then it would be intense. But sorry, go ahead, Chris. That's right. Um, I still feel though that it for Nate it it's even more basic than that, and it comes back to what you're saying about that Nate doesn't really have that much fun when he's losing, and how LOL is designed is that you lose half of your games, like no matter what you do, pretty much, unless you're the very best players in the world, potentially, like you lose half of your games. Whereas in Quake Two, like you could you could win ninety percent of your games, you could pub stomp all day long. Yeah. Which is what we did. Right. That so was how you I mean, usually play it, yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna win 90 percent of your games or something, great, you're gonna enjoy that game if you're somebody like Nate who really only enjoys when he's winning. We did not win ninety percent of our games. I wish well, we it, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what, yeah. The other funny thing too is we played against each other a lot back then. Like well, right, and that's the other condition under which it's actually fun sometimes to lose, is when yeah. you're like, wow, I actually, I like the guy that just beat me, so it's okay. Yeah. And then you can talk to him about it afterwards, and like how awesome it was when he, you know, railed you from <laughs> whatever, did whatever. Yeah. So Yabo hasn't returned, I'm going to start this game up. Wait, 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 I, I do see him... What? Alright, I thought I saw him, but then he disappeared. That was weird. Oh, your, uh, your PV, PvP net climb has not refreshed yet. It does that sometimes. Oh, uh, under the friends list, maybe, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Quake 2. 
Man, yeah, there was, was really a link, link I sent you guys while back. Uh, the, some people still play it, but I, don't yeah, I think they removed Power Shield. Oh, really? It's kind of that mod. Deal. So it was really quad um, armor um, and and text. Yeah, and text. I, I think. don't. I mean, I'm. I, I guess I'm a purist. I like it the way it was, man. Yeah. But um. It seems like the maps are different too. Oh. Because they would even make sure both maps are balanced, so it's uh, mirror images. Oh. Well, some of them were mirror images, like McKinley and um, yeah. CTF2, but, like, I mean, then some of them weren't, like Outlands. Outlands. That was the big one, really. The smelter was a little bit different. But... Man, you guys are bringing me back. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was super young when I got into Quake 2. That's funny. That's kind of like my intro to PC go. gaming, really. Or like legit PC gaming anyway. Oh, like purple. Really competitive play. Yeah, yeah. So where is everyone going?